want to start using NSI X but your applications don't seem to work correctly inside the container, start right now because we have the solution. Hi everyone, today we are using advanced installer to fix application compatibility issues for an application packaged as an NSI X. Let's first digitally sign this package and install it to see what errors we are encountering with our application. This application is trying to write into a file from its installation folder and it's also trying to open a file from its app data folder using an external application. In our example, we are trying to open a text file using Notepad++ which is installed as a normal application on our machine. As you can see, the writing operation fails, but we can actually read the file and see its contents in this box. And now, if we try to open a file from our app data folder, let me paste that in in one moment, and uh, Notepad++ will fail to open this file. As you can see, it fails to find its path, it just opens an empty path. Now let's close our application and go to App Compact View in Advanced Installer. Here we are using the Smart PSF integration from Advanced Installer to automatically apply fix-ups to our package while we are just running the application as a normal user. So you don't need access to its source code or any other tools to debug it. We just hit trace and use the application as a regular user. Let's close this debug message. And now let's pretend that we are trying to write into a file from our installation folder. And Advanced Installer automatically detects this, adds a redirection fix up for our file access, and the file writing operation succeeds. Now, if we read the file, you see that the file contains a different text from the one we've shown before because the writing operation was successful. Now, let's open our app data file using Notepad++. Again, Advanced Installer adds a public file redirect, fix up, and in this case you can see Notepad++ can open the file from the VFS path. Okay, let's close this one. And let me show you how these files are, where these files are included in the package. So you can see the file in program files for the file that I was trying to write into and in application data folder we can see our test file that we were trying to open with Notepad++. Now for another test we have a console application that we're going to set as default and uh, this console application doesn't have a working directory nor it, uh, a DLL next to it. So as you can see the DLL is the different folder. And uh, we are now trying to launch that application and to see if it successfully loads that DLL. Let's wait for it to install. Now our console application is running and the moment when we hit OK on this button, the DLL will be loaded. And as you can see, Advanced Installer automatically added a fix up informing the application where that DLL is present in the package. So it basically specified the folder path for that DLL, since that DLL is not found next to our application. And if you try to read the DLL name, it's also updating uh, the app's working directory. You can see that uh, now the app, if you go to application details view, the application contains a new working directory set for it automatically. 